up on it. It works. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody and welcome to my first video of 2021. So if you're just here for what the title says and you want to see what happens to the eBay 400 pound Peugeot, skip to this part of the video as this is my first video I've uploaded all year and we're actually like a little bit into the year already. I just wanted to quickly address some of my subscribers, the ones that are here for me and the channel and are always here every, every single video. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'm so excited for making what I can put from my head into the real world because I've got some big ideas once this corona stuff is is calm so we can travel again that's basically I'm out with that also if you want to see a bit more of me because I'm not uploading a lot on YouTube at the minute just mainly because I haven't got stuff to do and all the stuff I have got to do it's just very cold and I can't be bothered come follow me over on Twitch we're back streaming over on Twitch I tried it a little bit on YouTube and it went super well so I know that people were enjoying the streams I just need to find a home for the streams, so I have chosen Twitch on this occasion for that. So make sure you go follow my Twitch, that is all linked down below. Update on everything, I'm working from home at the minute, it's very hard, I'm very bored, it's doing my absolute head in, I hate it. So we've got a new story time with Adam channel as well, just down below in the links. So if you can go support that, I've uploaded all my story times that I've done in the past. Once that channel hits 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to upload the video of the angry biker with the fight situation that I had to take down um, because I said something I, I wasn't particularly happy with so I was like I need to take that down, edit that bit out and then get it up again so I thought that can go on this channel once it's got a thousand subs so head over to that channel, go show me some love on there I'm going to be trying some comedy stuff over there as well not all car stuff so it can kind of allow my creativity to blossom and yeah I guess that's kind of all I've got to say for now uh, t-shirts and everything in stock on the website got some hats left as well still uh, gloves, masks, all in stock other than that, this video doesn't have a sponsor, so a little plug for 621 had to be ha had to happen. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and I'll see you again, well, in about a second. Peace. <laughs> oh, what's up, peeps? Welcome to episode two of the 400 pound eBay whip. As you can see, <laughs> it's working, baby! Guess how much it cost me to fix it? Four quid. I literally just put a new battery in the key and then it started first time with the old good old Iron Hell Jumpy Boy on there. Actually, did I take that off the battery? Iron Hell Jump Pack, Bosh, key in. Look at that baby purr. Should we have a look at it now? I didn't really show you around it all, did I, when I, sh when I got it? Because I was like, oh, it doesn't move, I haven't ever driven it. But yeah, I'm going to leave it ticking just for now because. Ah, we can turn it off. Look at this though, baby. Look at this though. <laughs> Auto electric windows. <laughs> Lovely. Today we're going to give it a proper, proper clean. I've only got about an hour of sunlight, but luckily we have the unit behind me. So worst case, we can get the Chevy out and put this in. But for now, let's have a look at how disgusting this is. I was considering, like, shall we do like one of those like m like our music things? But let's just actually go in detail how gross this is. So as you can see, look at in. Oh god, that noise is horrible how gross all that is. I might have to go and get some ear cleaning buds or something, but it's just so grim. Look at that, that's foobard for sure. We'll play around with that, I'm not paying any money. Got moss on here. Oh, it's so grim. Got like a little, there could be a whole world existing in there. About to get blown away by a jet wash, so that's pretty, pretty concerning really when you think about it. This, this is like, got so much stuff growing in it, it's like dismantled the tree. I don't know if I should put that in my mouth. Anyway, we're in. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so gross. Along the front here, disgusting. This doesn't even stay in place, which is concerning. What the friggin' jeebus happened there? What the, why is it broke? <laughs> what the, what's just happened? Well, that's annoying. <laughs> That's a fault. The grill isn't really in either. I mean, that's kind of annoying as well, but it's super gross as well. Look, look at how disgusting that is. We'll just put... Oh. And then we have under here, the most disgusting part of this car is when you try to lift up. Oh, my fingers just touched it again. Oh, so gross. Fuck it, we won't even look. <laughs> that's, that's so disgusting. This side's equally as terrible. To be fair, the wheel trims are in lovely condition. Um, it's obviously had something bolted on the side here before as well, which is 
strange. Yeah, it's just like super, super disgusting for a whip, but I want to get it at least like cleaned up today. Inside needs a bit of a hoover. Obviously, Finn's been in it a little bit, so I, but the inside isn't actually all that bad, thankfully. Uh, I did find, wow, that's corroded. Oh no, we have got some rust. I found some rust on the whip. It's not completely rust free. No, we'll fix that. God damn it, Adam! What are you doing with your life, man? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna clean this today because I don't want it to make me feel sick every time I open the bonnet because there's so much moss on the underside. There's a gate between me and the horses today, and it still made me jump. <laughs> this car's MOT ran out on the 21st of April, 2018, which means it's been at least that for two and a half years. So we can just say three years in the title. It's more more nearer three years than two years, so we'll go with that. <laughs> anyway, first clean in three years. It's been proper grubby. This thing has just been sat up doing nothing. So there you go. There's a 360 horse. <laughs> I found out. Okay, I have to put a little. I have to be honest in the video. I found out this isn't the super horrible horse. You just look like him. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. So me and him can be friends now because he's not the horrible one that I don't like. Is Millie going to do something? Like Millie's my favourite. Hey, girl! She's been chilling with me down the yard since we got her as like a baby. She's going to get kicked in the head, though. What are you doing, Dippy? Back to the whip. So, like I was saying, inside of the car isn't that terrible. And I did find something super cool in here. Because, because obviously, when I got it working yesterday, I was a little excited. So, I had to look through the car. And... Look at that thing, kids! Okay, so this... <laughs> This is what we used to listen to music on. And look. Look at that. Ready? It goes in there like that. There we go. Lovely jobbly. <laughs> I found that and I thought it was super funny. But today, real quick wash. I'm really running out of time here. <laughs> um, so we're going to give this a real like a wash as best we can now. And then clean it up on the inside. And then have a look at it at the end. And hopefully it looks amazing. And we'll all be buzzing about my 400 pound whip, baby. <laughs> What, what am I doing with my life then? What are we doing, dude? Are you not sick of this shit as well? So I am, mate. I can't believe after just a simple jet wash it looks so much better. I need to work out what the hell the deal is with that indicator. <laughs> that was so weird. It's got a spring on it as well. So I wonder if the spring holds it in. No idea, but that, the whole front end needs little uh, looking at because, um, well, the bonnet doesn't shut properly. That indicator's out and the, the grill doesn't sit properly either. So we'll have to have a look at that another time. But as you can maybe see, I don't know, this camera does night mode so well, but we are running out of daylight and fast. Really want to snow foam it, wash it and all that malarkey. And then take it in the garage, have to get the Chevy out, dry it all off properly and stuff. So we're still going to be here a little while. So, instead of boring you to death with car washing footage, I will catch you once we've snow foamed it. We can have a look at how much better it looks afterwards and then give it a dry up and all that, yeah. Sweet! Trying to hit a little stumbling block here. That's the light from the garage. Everything else is pitch black. <laughs> can barely see the car. I've just done a bit around the engine there, it looks amazing, but I am going to have to do some moving. The car's looking sick, just wanted to update you, you know? <laughs> and it's pitch black, so I can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the fuel is super bad in this car. We go again. Thankfully, this has got like a flashlight on the end of it. it makes it super easy to find a battery. Iron hell, I love you. Here we 
that's fine. Oh, this is easy, mate. This is easy. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. We managed to skip that, didn't we? Well done, Adam. You didn't get your Christmas Day upload like you wanted because you're lazy. So I have to say, I had a right laugh with some of you on Instagram. If you were one that commented a name, let me know down below. Uh, I really want to give the Persian a name, and it can be anything. It can be funny, it can be sensible, it can be French. Just let me know down in the comments. I'm going to pick in the next video which one I think was the funniest. Uh, we'll go through the Instagram and the YouTube stuff, and uh, we'll give the old Persian a name. Also, what I want you to do to, for me today, I know I'm asking quite a lot, but it's all for good fun. Uh, if I can get Bocca and Andy to agree to do some sort of challenge with our daily estate, let me know what you think would be a funny idea. Like, what can we do with the cars? What can we not jump them or anything? Because they actually use theirs as their dailies. But just they're such weird, boring machines. But they're so quirky and fun at the same time. So I think we should do something really fun with them, to be honest. And uh, and yeah, yeah. Also, I'm very excited for the Sylvia stuff. What did you think of the parts I added in the last video? I've been watching a lot of Ollie Evans' channel. Just hit 1K. My guy, well done, dude. Uh, go subscribe to Ollie. He is the UK BDC champion at the moment. And he is also a top level. He's just a great dude. Good drifter. Cool cars. Go give him a follow. It'll give you a little injection of drift fix until uh, we can get back out doing some skids in that bag of crap. So quickly, to anybody that is here for the Persia, I'm sorry, but this is the E36. Got it over here now. <clears throat> We've got it been out of drive, which you've seen. We need to get some new tires for it. We need to bolt in the seat properly. We need to put the harnesses in. And we need to align it. And then we should be good to go and do some skids. And uh, I think Ollie's going to be one of the dudes we're doing a lot with. So make sure you give him a follow because it should be really fun doing some cross collabing stuff with a truly fantastic driver. So I'm very excited for that. Hopefully, I'll learn a lot. But anyway, back to this beast. <laughs> we'll let the snow foam uh, settle in for a little bit longer. Then we'll uh, blast it off, give it another wash with some soap, and then get it in here for some fine tuning. What a whip! What a wagon! Oh, I love it. It's so cool and square. It's so funny. Car now in. Uh, I thought by leaving it charging, <laughs> leaving it running, it might get some charge. I thought the alternator might be out of if it didn't. So I'm gonna have to jump it again, annoyingly. But I'm gonna fix a few little bits on it as well as tidying up the last few bits. The cleaning didn't get the whole good, good off. So let me take you off here. You, can, you might be able to pick it up in the camera. There's, yeah, you can see that. You can see the marks in the paint. Um, it's just dirt. It's just dirt. I thought it'd be better just to get it in here, use some polish and pads, and clear that up. I'm not gonna do the whole car today, uh, but it might be fun just to tinker with it over time. But we'll see how that goes. Also, we need to learn how to fix this now that spring tells me that needs to loop somewhere so we'll find that shortly we also need to where the heck is my cable tie <laughs> that's the, oh there we go so also we need to just find a couple of bolts to tidy this side up i'm, I'm unsure why this is all done maybe the i don't you know what, i don't know i haven't got an answer um but we need to work out where that will go but i'll just look for oh look that side's little things hanging out hmm we'll figure it out we'll have a look in a second but overall the car is in ridiculously good condition for what i paid for it and i think it's charming so we can't moan so should we try and fix this then and work it out and work it out as we go along yeah sweet okay cool job done already i think <laughs> Well, that was fun. Okay, we need two of these. Okay, we gonna search them, baby. They use a longer bolt on these, which is annoying, but okay, let's search and we're back with you. We've already gone and bloody done it. We found one. Hey, oh, sorry, Ben. I realize you were there, buddy. This hood is really one of the dirtiest bits of the car, and I still have from the amazing AMD Taylor banana smelling detailing spray. I'm gonna absolutely cake the engine, the, the bonnet in this, and hope it will get rid of some of these stains. I've got a whole new cloth to go on, look at me using the good stuff on this whip, but I really would like to see this cleaned up, and I think a good detailer will probably do just as good 
if not better than anything else in terms of wasting time to results. So let's give it a fucking wipe and see, innit? Okay, there is still a dirty, dirty handprint on here. Okay, let's have a look what else in the unit we've got that might work. Okay, okay. Well, I've got a bit of a problem. I have got no stuff here other than the dribs and the drabs because I've took all of my detailing stuff to my house at the start of the lockdown. So we're just going to use some super resin, po resin polish and this iron hell thing. I've never used this before. Oh, but it does work. So <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go along. We will figure it out as we go along. Well, it definitely got some dirt off of there. Bloody heck, that works a treat. Quickly on this thing as well. So I held in these really cool batteries and they just work across everything so you can always keep one charged. I love Einhell, they support me a lot, so please show them some love when you're buying your tools. Like, it's, it's got a colour under there. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh. Well, that is pretty astounding for a one second attempt at that. And as you can probably see in the light, I didn't clean it properly. I just wanted to see if we'd get rid of their marks with that, and we did, and it's come up a treat. So if this video hits... 600 likes i will get the machine polish out on this properly properly and we'll really see how good we can get this old girl to come up um we fixed the indicator thing it literally i think oh no i haven't fixed it at all for fuck's sake i thought i fixed it it doesn't make any sense how these work one second we need to fix that at minimum before we go home so before we had Google, we had these wonderful books, Haynes Manuals, okay? Now, <laughs> I bought this for £2.48 on Amazon, and <laughs> amazingly, th these things literally had everything. So if you're young and have Google, you don't need to understand these things. But this, literally, I've just looked, gone to the table of contents, it said go to 12, 6, up here, 12, 6, front indicator. Working in the engine compartment, unhook the indicator light, unit retaining spring from the lug behind the light. And they give you a diagram of how it's meant to sit. Boom, baby, let's get that done. Look at that, what an amazing just thing these books were. I don't think they're printing these anymore, so I tend to buy them for all the cars I have, just because I think they're magical, really cool little things. But we'll leave that page open just there. Simple as that, it hooks round into the headlight, headlight thing there. So now, oh! She's stable as it gets, team. So we've re replaced the bolts. We've got the front grille on sturdy today. Got that indicator in. The only last thing is why this bonnet is not sitting correctly. And how am I going to resolve that? Is that... There we go. Bonnet lock. Bonnet release. 11.5.11.5. Ah, okay. This makes sense now to why... This has probably been out recently because they were probably trying to fix this. Okay, okay, okay. I don't understand what... If anybody knows Peugeot's in the comments down below, in fact, I might even ask Danny about this, like, what, what's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal, friend? And we need to work out why it is not closing properly on this side. Okay. Let's try it again, shall we? It's just this is terrible design. Awful. <clears throat> anything okay i think this is the cause of all my bonnet problems i'm going to ask a peugeot expert because this isn't actually too bad in here if i'm completely honest the interior is actually quite nice uh just needs a bit of a, a bit of a spruce up it smells like the 90s it's so crazy i mean it's not crazy at all is it but like it's cool um and obviously finn's been popping in and out of the back here so that's a bit dirty already but for the most part the car on the outside inside car on the inside is pretty fantastic, to be completely honest. So, let's get the old Henry out. Ta-da! <laughs> what a machine, people! Don't you think I forgot the winner of the Christmas pack, which was the t-shirt of your choice, the gloves of, in the size of your choice, and the sticker pack is here on the screen. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas. Uh, and, co and congratulations, bud. We're going home in one minute. Just got to say goodbye to peeps. <laughs> Finn's down here whinging because he wants his dinner. Um, the car's come up pretty amazing, to be honest. Uh, I haven't finished doing the full interior. I'm just going to do that now. My mum come down because she wanted to see the beast. And um, but for the bits I have done, it's coming up absolutely amazing. 
Uh, I would love to get a full polisher out on this thing one day. So 600 likes on the video, I'll get that done. But now we see how clean it is and how nice it dries to be fair. <laughs> I can't believe how much I like this car. I'm gonna book it in as soon as we get that bonnet sorted. That's gonna be the next thing on my list to do. I probably won't film that. I'll tell you what we do when, once it's done, but we we'll get that sorted straight away. And then I am going to get this booked in for an MOT. And once this has an MOT on it and it's tax and insured, then we'll get some coilovers. I've already found some and uh, they're only £189, so I don't feel like that's a terrible thing to purchase for this beast. And then we'll look for wheels down the line as well, but it'll be coilovers first, and then we'll just go from there. I love this stupid old car. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Please subscribe to the channel. Plenty of builds going on on the channel, as you can see, lots of stuff going on. So if the Peugeot's brought you here, so say thank you to the Peugeot, and hopefully you'll stick around, and you'll check out a few more of my videos. But yeah, I guess from me, I'm out. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my evening the best I can. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.